talk about Binance new all-time high. We are going to talk about Jack Dorsey, how many Bitcoins is the Twitter CEO buying every day. We are going to talk about Adam Beck, is he Satoshi or not? We are going to talk about the Bitcoin price, of course. And like I promised, I'm going to take you to another beautiful beach here in Thailand. Let's jump onto that beach. Good morning, guys, on this beautiful day here on Koh Phangan. As I promised, guys, today I will visit a new location on Koh Phangan to show you how beautiful it is here and just to inform you again about the daily things like Bitcoin, blockchain and life, the beautiful life that you could be living if you just sell your house and go all into Bitcoin. <laughs> if we are talking about selling the house all into Bitcoin, yesterday I read this beautiful tweet about uh, Da Vinci. Da Vinci is also a well-known OG in the space. He tweeted yesterday, my wife wants to sell the house and wants to go all into Bitcoin. He was still doubting. He was like, wow, I like the house. I don't know what to do. So I just responded to his tweet. Just keep breathing, sell it, go all in, travel the world, support crypto, blockchain, and decentralizing this world 24 seven while you discover the beauty all around you. That's how I feel when I travel, guys. So Da Vinci, I wish you a lot of luck uh, with selling the house for Bitcoins and then man, just meet me somewhere in thailand or wherever we will be as a family welcome to the digital decentralized nomad bitcoin life we are walking to secret beach which is not that secret anymore because the beach you know um, became a little bit more touristy but i got up really early for you guys so probably it's empty hopefully it's still empty a very unfriendly dog is awaiting me and he doesn't want me to go to the beach i think Welcome to Secret Beast, guys. The dog already starts to like me, so barking dogs mostly don't hurt you guys. It's a very beautiful beach. It is like almost like empty. It's a small beach, very small, as you can see. I will start at that side because there's somebody on the beach in the back and I don't want to disturb them while they're doing yoga or something. It's a beautiful little cove here and um, it's just an amazing place to spend some time. On the corner over there, maybe I will take you there later, is Koraham. Koraham is a beautiful snorkeling spot uh, where you can jump off a small cliff like two meters high and just snorkel a little bit and with thousands of colorful fishes. Beautiful as well. Today guys, I want to talk to you about a few things. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is Binance. Binance saw an all-time high in their new signups. Even more signups as during the peak of the 2017 bull. This is huge. A huge amount of people now start to not even only enter the market, but also you start to trade Bitcoin. Um, I'm talking to you guys while I see this beautiful mermaid. So Binance sees an all-time high in signups, which is really bullish because we already saw that Google had a uh, all-time high in search of the halving which gets many people interested in Bitcoin maybe even buying Bitcoin now they saw Bitcoin uh, pull back a little bit but you know they are in the game now you know they got sucked into the Bitcoin game Bitcoin life and just like you and I did it's difficult to let go of this beautiful life if you're uh, if you're now in it because it's always full with adrenaline full with conspiracy theories uh, who is Satoshi etc Talking about who is Satoshi, oh my god, yesterday Roger Ver did a, a Facebook post and in the post he said, oh this video shows who Satoshi is. I of course immediately watched the video, not that I you know, want to know who Satoshi is because I hope um, he will never reveal himself and he will stay decentralized because else he will be harassed with questions. and. You should do this and you should do that and you should make sure Bitcoin is this and you know I think it's better to not know who he is but I must admit I watched the video and the video says that Adam Beck is Satoshi and it's a uh, you know it shows some proof of Adam Beck's history and Adam Beck's digital footprint 
I also heard John McAfee talking about that we could recognize Satoshi on the writing style. This video also shows this writing style, but it shows much more. It shows emails, it shows communications, it shows a lot of stuff. And all these things together in the video state that said Adam Beck is Satoshi. Um, I will put the link to the video down below. Uh, I, I still don't know Adam Beck is still saying he isn't Satoshi. So as long as Adam Beck doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't admit he's Satoshi, we will never know. The strange thing of course of all this is that if Adam Beck would be Satoshi, then it would be a little bit a difficult situation guys. Because in this difficult situation, Adam Beck is also the CEO of Blockstream. And Blockstream is the centralized organization funded by investors that are building like second layer applications but also maintaining the Bitcoin network. And if this guy would be Satoshi, he would have now this double role of keeping his investors satisfied and that you can only do by making profit. And on the other side, he has the role of keeping Bitcoin as decentralized as possible, which is really difficult to play this double role. So I don't know guys, um, let me know your opinion. What do you think about Satoshi, who Satoshi is? Is Adam Beck Satoshi? And do you think it's important that we even know who Satoshi is? I'm walking into the secluded part of the beach, which is really beautiful as well. In the Twitter post, I asked if Adam Beck was Satoshi. 60% of you guys said, no, Adam Beck is not Satoshi. So probably he isn't. Mo mostly when the Hurt says something, it's exactly the opposite. So maybe he is. I will leave you guys. Whoop, I need to watch out where I'm walking here on the cliffs. I will leave you guys in this beautiful state of not knowing. And hopefully we will stay in this state as a community for a very long time. So that Bitcoin stays as decentralized as possible. Do you like the beach guys? It's a beautiful beach and now you know I just climb these cliffs and then you come into this part, the smaller part, very small. I need to climb down here guys. Some other news, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, just admitted he's buying 10k of Bitcoin with his cash app every week. So that's about 1.1 Bitcoin every week. So that's a lot of Bitcoins if you will keep buying Bitcoins the next couple of years. That will be about like 50 Bitcoins now a year. But I think that the Bitcoin price will climb up again. So it will be less and less Bitcoin he's buying. But he's still investing $10,000 every week into Bitcoin. Together with Jack Dorsey, many other billionaires like Paul Tudor and other ones already admitted that they started to buy Bitcoin as well guys so huge amounts I think even 100 million dollar worth of Bitcoin what they were buying so you know we can see more and more interest of the big players in the world in the financial world so probably people will more and more get interested into this beautiful beautiful technology Bitcoin Oh man, I'm just really enjoying this part of the beach because this part I didn't visit myself yet, but it's beautiful. Yes, it's very itchy. I think I'm being stung by these sand flies everywhere on my calves. But guess, guys, that is what I do for you guys. I just suffer in the sun on these beautiful locations to just create beautiful content. The water here is very clear as you can see. Look how beautiful. Okay guys, now the part where you are waiting for, of course, because you bastards are all watching my videos just because of the price and not because of all the live advice. <laughs> no, I know you also like all the, the other stuff I talk about because else you wouldn't be following my channel, but one of the channels of the real good TAs, you know, that um, can predict the market a little bit better than I do. It's very difficult at the moment to talk about the price. Nobody knows how high we will go, nobody knows how low we will go. Yes, we can analyze the, the price and we can see what the market has done in history. And we can also see all the indicators and we can draw all these beautiful lines on the charts. 
And if we are talking about the lines, Bitcoin, yes, you know, had a pullback, but we are still finding support on this four hour trend line. It has been going on now for weeks. And I think this trend line is a ascending trend line and Bitcoin is still finding support and it's going up and up and up. So that's a beautiful thing um, to see. And at the same time, if you zoom out, which I prefer to do guys, because I think zooming out is very important. You, should, you don't stress too much about the price because it's all, it's all about a long-term investment. It's not about getting rich very quickly. It's long-term. And if you zoom out and you look at the day uh, chart, then you can see this channel building up. And we have been in this channel for a long time. I think we already had like four waves in this channel. If you look at the chart, you can see it. And now we are up for the fifth wave. The fourth wave was like the bottom of the channel, the bottom trend line of the channel. And now we are probably moving to the upper line of this channel. And the upper line of this channel is around 11K. So that's $10,800-ish. In my opinion, um, we won't break out to the downside, but we will go up to the 11K and maybe then break down to the downside again. That's what I said yesterday in the video. We could break down to 6K, but guys, who knows? If I read that all these important people in this space are now investing hugely in Bitcoin and more and more people sign up to Binance, that's the small investors, then I can't, you know, become bearish again. I think I need to stay bullish because all the indicators are telling me that we will slowly see another huge run up into 2021. And that's a beautiful year because when I started this whole adventure, you can read the first interviews I did in 2016, 17. I said in 2017, guys, I'm going to ride this ride with my family to 2021 and see what happens. A lot of people keep asking me, what did he, what should we do? Should we go all in or not? Now I had, I talked already about Da Vinci and I know some other people that are also um, like Keith Waring, he's going to sell some house, I think, and, and invest in Bitcoin as well. So many more people will follow. Because why? If you do calculation, it's always a good decision. Because you would only do it if you want to change life. If you're stuck in this life and you want to change it. And if you want to change it, you can buy Bitcoin for 10K now. If you believe that Bitcoin will go to 50K, like five times the current value, huh? then the decision, the calculation you make is like this. If you have $100,000 because you sell all your house, you have $100 profit, you can now buy 10 Bitcoins. These Bitcoins are 100K at the moment. Let's say you need five Bitcoins the next two years to live. So you need 50K, that's like 25K every year to live this traveling life we do. It is possible, I can tell you, because we have been doing it for four years, I know exactly what this life is costing. And you know, check the website, bitcoinfamily.com, where I explain a little bit about how much this life costs and how you can um, do it. But let's say you live five Bitcoins and Bitcoin will increase in value, so you have a little bit more to spend the next two years. And you live up this two years beautiful life where you wanna test if you could be a digital Bitcoin blockchain nomad uh, and discover the world with your family and twen spend 24 seven with your family. Yeah? Some people are not even able to do it, but you can test it for two years. Then after these two years, you uh, are left there uh, with five Bitcoins. These five Bitcoins will have a value because in my opinion and in your opinion, if you really believe Bitcoin, Bitcoin will be 50K in two years. And then you will be left with five Bitcoins times 50K, which is 250K. You remember you entered the market with 100K. Then you live the life to the fullest by being in these amazing places together with your family. And you end up with 250K while you invested 100K. Let's say after these two years, you say, well, ah, I want to change life back. I want to have a house back. I want, I want to have the normal life. It was beautiful those two years, two years but um, you know, it's not forever. I just want to go back. Then you have 250K to exit the market in a positive way again and to start life over. You know, to buy a new house, to do your things, whatever you were doing before. This is the positive side. The negative part would be that Bitcoin would go below 10k in two years times. I can't imagine this, but 
if Bitcoin would go below 10K, you would still be left over with five Bitcoins times, let's say 8K, $40,000. These $40,000 will again provide you for setting up a new business, renting a house, till you find a job and all this stuff you did when you, uh, you know, when you exited school into this normal life. So when you exit this digital normal life, you just start over like you started after school with nothing. And now you exit with 50K. So you have a small um, startup capital to even start this new life again. So for me, it's only positive outcomes because you will never get the time back with your children that you can grab now. Your children will grow up and get older, like my children. My, the oldest one is 14. When she will be 16, she will be spreading her wings like the bird up there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a beautiful big bird. So my oldest daughter will spread her wings when she's 16. I grab all the time with her together till that age. I travel the world. I visited beautiful places. I taught her the true fundamentals of life that money is not the end goal and doesn't provide you of the happiness everybody is searching for it is living life it is sharing you know it's it's being healthy so for me it's always a positive outcome i will try to walk up to the end point there guys to show you Korahan. Korahan is this beautiful place where you can snorkel I hope they will let me in because uh, some hotels are still closed and so that's uh, that would be sad but hopefully they will let me in. juice at what's cup this is a very nice place it's called what's cup it's between the secret beach and between Hadiao guys Hadiao is another beach I want to show you soon but let's first enjoy this beautiful mango juice with a view I hope you enjoyed this beautiful beach, secret beach. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video. I wish you a beautiful day, live life to the fullest. I'm sweating again because I work very hard. <laughs> and guys, chill, relax, zoom out, enjoy your day. See you tomorrow, bye. bye.